Hey guys, good day. Clayton here, CP Firearms. We're gonna go over the Dragonfly. This thing has been in the works a long time. So, let's go over the Dragonfly. It's a kit for your 1022 to make it the lightest 1022 rifle on the market. Here's the kit. Handguard, rear chassis, and our buttstock. This little guy, the V-block, that holds the handguard to your receiver. Let's put all this stuff on the scale so you can see what the kit weighs. Bear with me here. I'm going to balance all these things on the scale. This kit right here weighs 11.4 ounces. Minus hardware that you can see sitting here, but it is lighter than the factory hardware because it is all aluminum. Now, this carbon fiber tube has a custom bushing up front here that only takes one screw to mount it to your receiver. This will be kind of a quick overtake on how this thing goes together. Um, what you get in the kit is going to be, like I said, the buttstock, the handguard, the rear chassis piece, which does also have a screw in here to adjust it on the chassis and I'll go over that. But all the pins and hardware will all come with the kit, along with this V-block, which goes into this handguard. Now, let's move this stuff out of the way here. Just so everybody knows, this is a clear firearm and the barrel is loose. So, as everybody knows, we'll line this up here V block. As you guys know, the most important thing here is to line up the injection port with your extractor when you're removing your barrels. Also, make sure you torque these down to the manufacturer torque specs. So we got the B-block on. Next thing that I like to do is put the handguard on so I can get it out of the way. Slide it over the barrel. It is a snug fit, that's by design. We also gotta line up the end of the barrel once you get it there, it pushes right on there. That's how easy that goes on there. And you have your factory. Well, we will supply this nut that comes into the factory location for your receiver. Bear with me here. I thought I had that out right now. There we go. As far as this goes, just get it to it snug and you're good. Perfectly handguard, free floated barrel. That handguard is not going anywhere. All right, guys, now that the handguard's installed, let's move on to the trigger group. Trigger pins, does it come with the kit? Short one here, the short trigger pin of the two, the short pins of the two go into the trigger. Make sure your springer's released. What I like to do is use our pin to push out the factory pin. That way it guides it through the hole. All this needs to be is snug. There is a O-ring in there that compresses to hold it tight. Make sure you have your spring down in there and your trigger group, that is done. Now to the mag release spring, same thing. Use our pin to push out the factory pin. And don't lose the factory pin. It happens.
Once again, this just needs to be snug as there is an O-ring with this one too. It's done. Actually, it's the, by design, it will only get snug and then it will continue to spin. Do not grab that with a pair of pliers to make it, it doesn't need to be. Trigger grip into the receiver. What I like to do is put this front pin in to hold it in place. Keeping in mind, I'm keeping all the screws on one side. These will come with installed Loctite on the hardware. That pin is in, grab your rear chassis, slide it over. Your buffer bolt stop comes in this way. This is a little bit snug here but it will get through there. A little wiggle. These pins are designed just like anti-walk pins. So uh, Allen head on both sides. Hold that thought. Before you tighten this one all the way down, we gotta get the other one in. This is recessed, so this comes in opposite as the rest of them. Make sure these both are, are tight. Next is your handle, which is AR-15 compatible beaver tail, any handle. Once again, guys, this is nylon you're screwing into, so it doesn't have to be overly tight. We have not had an issue with our threads. Onto the buttstock. We suggest, as you can see inside this cutout here, threading it in so it almost comes to that window to give proper seating. Tighten down the castle nut. Make sure this is set up, aligned however you like. There you have complete. Dragonfly. With this completed, let's see the scale. See how light this thing weighs. A complete dragonfly weighs two pounds, 15 ounces. I will say this is the lightest 1022 that you can get. So with that, thanks guys. This is on the website. Shortly, we are in the production mode of getting these kits together. Thanks guys.